News crew have escaped with minor injuries after a rapid transit tram crashed while undergoing tests. The vehicle, owned by former helicopter boss and multimillionaire Alan Bristow, careered off a bend and overturned while travelling at near full speed. Mr Bristow is trying to sell his metro system to Midlands council leaders. Tonight he said he was amazed no one was killed in the crash. The Bryway Transit car was undergoing test runs at Alan Bristow's private estate near Guildford. Central Television was invited to film the prototype. Our camera was rolling as the vehicle gathered speed along the main test track. As well as ourselves, Alan Bristow was on board along with two engineers and a driver who seemed unaware the points in the track were set for a left-hand bend. As the transit car lay on its side, several of us tried to free one man who was trapped by his legs and at first appeared unconscious. Both my cameraman Mike and I, we've just scrambled out of the wreckage that you can see down there. Neither of us are actually injured, though we're both obviously a bit shaken. The idea was that the, the train, the, the car was going on a test run at full speed, it seemed, straight down. And yet, as we were approaching, we heard people shout, slow down, slow down. The points hadn't been changed. It took the corner very sharply indeed. And then suddenly everything turned over and some rocks which were in the bottom of the car, which uh, had been placed there to simulate the weight of passengers, came flying around us. Uh, very amazing that nobody was seriously injured, although one man in there was trapped. His legs were trapped, but nobody was injured. The uh, emergency services arrived, they've now been sent away, and I think apart from a few people who've been shaken up, uh, everybody is all right. We've been told not to film uh, this wreckage here. Uh, a crane is coming very shortly to remove it. And Alan Bristow, who went away shortly afterwards nursing a very bruised uh, elbow, uh, says that this would not have happened had uh, this been a real uh, system, if this had been operating in a city, uh, because the automatic system would have cut out uh, the car's mechanism. Alan Bristow, who earlier demonstrated the safety of his transit cars, has invested eight and a quarter million pounds in the venture. After leaving the test track, he declined a television interview to explain how the crash happened. Instead, later by phone, he blamed human error, insisting safety features on a track in public use would prevent such an accident. He's ordered an investigation into the crash and told me he believes everybody on board was lucky to survive. Adrian Britton reporting. Well, to the past now and skinning rabbits, roasting.